All right, here on PunchTheFace.com, we are joined by Lightning Liz McCarthy, who's going to be a part of Invicta FC 14. Uh, Liz, how are you feeling here weeks away here from the big fight? Hi, I'm, I'm feeling good. I mean, training's kind of, this is ramping up, I guess. This is uh, the hardest part of camp. We're in the last couple weeks, so it's kind of crunch time. So we're looking extra hard. I'm feeling a little tired, but there's a few things that are going to be prepared. Absolutely. Now you're out there in Vegas uh, training with. Uh, I saw uh, saw your uh, pictures on uh, Twitter. You're training with uh, uh, Jamie Moley and uh, Roxanne Montefiore, who are also going to be on the card. Is it making it easier for you to prepare for Invicta FC 14 with other fighters who are going to be on the same card, and you guys are kind of ramping up and getting together at the same time? Yeah, definitely. It's it's been, I think, really helpful because we're all making extra practices and getting in there for sparring together, and, and we're all kind of in the, the same mentality. So with our camp, we're all, you know, ramping up at the, the same rate. So I, I think, and also it's, it's helpful just to have that camaraderie, I guess, of, of having your friends fighting on the same card, going through the same thing. We're all feeling the same way, you know, being in the middle of a training camp. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's been a, a fun camp. So obviously you ladies can all share each other's pain and, and, and like you said, and, and having that camaraderie and, and getting prepared because, uh, you know, when it's, when it's fight time, you know, fighters are very agitated, but when you have somebody who's in the same boat as you, it makes things easier for you in, in that regard. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, we can all complain about, you know, how, how hungry we are, how tired, how beat up we are. So it's, it's nice to have that camaraderie. Now, it's been a minute since we've been able to see you in the cage. You had an absolute uh, fantastic fight, although you came up on the short end against Amber Brown and Invicta FC 9. Um, you know, about that fight, you know, were you banged up afterwards to where that's why we've seen kind of the long layoff? You know, what, what's been going on here during that downtime? Well, you know, I mean, I, I guess everyone, everyone saw I got a, a pretty nice cut in that fight, so it did take a little time for that to heal. I had to take quite a bit of time off of... Um, to make sure that was still before I got back in there and could get back in and, and start training really hard. But, um, you know, I, I was, you know, as, as soon as it was healed and I was good the first part, I was back in the gym training. So I've still been preparing ability to go. I don't know that that's been as much of a factor in, in you know, that it's been so long since I fought. I think it's more just that, um, you know, trying to, to find, the, find the right opponent and have a card ready to go. Um, that, I mean, that, it did take a little bit of time to heal, but I've definitely, you know, been, been preparing. We've been ready to go for a little while, so I'm anxious to get back in there. Now, after that fight, you know, I know you probably had an opportunity to look at that fight, and with it being a split decision loss, you know, that's one of those things, you know, different people seeing in different ways, but what was your biggest takeaway from that fight that you can now go forward and use in your future fights? I think in that fight, I was a little too focused on just the wrestling, like I was just looking for the takedowns, and I wasn't thinking about standing and trading and using my striking and transitioning into the takedown, so I think that, you know, it's definitely been a, a learning experience, and, and, you know, I've been able to grow there from, from it. Now, you're going to be taking on Jinju Fry here at Invicta FC 14 in Kansas City Live on UFC Fight Pass, you know. How do you, you know, what, what kind of a thoughts do you have in regards to your opponent? How do you think you two stack up matchup wise? Well, uh, Jane Jen Frey is um, a great kick kickboxer. She's got some good hands. Um, she's another southpaw. So again, I just, I just got done my last fight was against a girl who's left handed. Going into another fight with a girl who's left handed. Um, stylistically, I think she's a little bit of a different fighter. Um, she likes to throw a lot of straight left hands, a lot of kicks. So um, obviously, you know we're. We're going to be aware of that, but I think, you know, um, style-wise, she really likes to stand up and bang, and I've had some fights like that, too. You know, I, I know, um, you know, I've had some fights where I've gone in and I've, I've wrestled, so I've, you know, could, could go either way. We'll see, but um, I, I think she likes to stand up and bang, and I like to stand up and bang, so we'll, we'll see if it goes that way. Now, with that being stated, we're going to probably get a grappling match between two, two fighters like to stand up and bang. And that's, that's the way it always goes, but it's, it's never anything wrong with that because, as a whole, I have to say, through all the Invicta cards, the fights don't suck. You ladies always bring it. You know, is that, is being a women's mixed martial arts fighter, is that something to where it's kind of in your back of your mind that some people have that pre uh, notion about women fighters that they can't bring the action, that you almost have to kind of go a little bit further out and kind of exert yourself more in these bouts to bring more attention and more excitement to these events? I think to a point, I think that a lot of girls, um, you know, have, have that. It's, I mean, it's not like we feel like we have to prove ourselves. I think it's more just the fact that we want to 
go out there and 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 we want to make sure that people know that we're here to fight. Like we're we're not just here to um, you know play pat cake in in the cage. We want to go out there and we want to bang around and and um, you know we we love the sport just like the guys do. So you know we're we're not here to mess around. Well, absolutely. Now, this, this bout you're going to have here at Invicta 14 is going to be at Adam Weight. Now, do you think the division is wide open? Because, you know, this is a fact that I kind of just kind of noticed that no champion here uh, since Invicta's inception has actually had back-to-back -back successful title defenses. The title just changed hands at the last Invicta event here. Uh, is this a division that's clearly wide open that with a couple of wins, you're right back in the title hunt and right at a title shot? I would definitely agree with you there. Um, I, I think for a couple of reasons. I think for, you know, the reason that you're saying that it doesn't seem like there's a, a you know, a, a clear, definite um, champion where somebody has had, like, the back-to-back -back wins or the title defenses in a row. Um, I think that, and then I also think the fact that with the UFC adding the 115-pound division, I think there have been several girls that were fighting at 105 that have moved up and gone over to the UFC to fight in the 150. I think a lot of the um, a lot of the top girls too that were fighting the 105 have now moved over, and it's really just kind of opened things up for uh, you know quite a bit. So you so you think this is really a division that's maybe prime for the taking, or do you look at this division as being somewhat of maybe a stepping stool for some fighters to maybe move up to the 115 and, and hopefully get that shot uh, fighting in the UFC? Yeah, I I think both. Both ways there, you know, it's, it's wide open for the taking. So, um, you know, like like you said, probably just you know anybody really in the division is a few wins away from a title shot. There's not a lot of girls that you know they're fighting at 105. But at the same time, I think too there probably are some girls that are looking at it that way, where they can use this as a stepping stone, build their way up, get a few fights, get some some wins, and get a name for themselves, and then move up and move over. Now, Liz, we all know this sport of mixed martial arts is, is completely insane. We all have to be a little bit crazy to not only be physically involved, in it, but also in my end of being journalists because it, it's a crazy sport. So what do you do to kind of get yourself away from this and kind of relax outside of the cage that most fans may not know that you uh, you do or, or partake in? That's interesting that you're actually doing equestrian work like that and, and not being in the cage. That's, Although I, I would almost kind of wonder if that's as dangerous being on a giant horse, but hey, what it, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's totally different too because in, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a completely different sport because in fighting, I mean, there's two people in the ring. It's one, you know, one person for themselves and you're doing nothing but trying to just, you know, keep the other person up. So when you're on a horse and you're riding, it's just you and that horse, but it's all about harmony and working with the horse. So it's kind of a nice balance. What? That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, now, Liz, man, let the fans know where they can keep tabs on you as far as social media goes here leading up to Invicta FC here, which is just a couple of weeks away. There. I was gonna say, uh, let let the fans know uh, your social media, uh, your Twitter, oh. Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, definitely. So um, follow me on my Facebook uh, Facebook fan page. It's um, Facebook forward slash lightning dot live, and then um, I've got my Twitter account, which is um, at lightning underscore liz one hundred five, um, and then of of course. Oh, I guess it's just at lightning underscore Liz. Sorry, I've got my my manager here is correcting me. <laughs> um, <laughs> See, that's that's what the managers earn those percentages for to help you over that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. And also give a shout out to any sponsors that help you prepare here for the bout here on September twelfth. Um, so so far, I've got my um, strength and conditioning coach. Uh, Mike was Dominate Your Game, um, helping me out a bunch, and then also KPE, uh, 
um, chiropractic, Dr. Steffel has been helping me out, keeping me healthy for this fight. Um, and then if anybody else is interested at this point, um, you know, we're still looking for, looking at picking up other sponsors, definitely please contact my manager, uh, my management team. You can send them an email. It's um, jessy, J-E-S-S-Y, at MMAGloryTalent.com. Well, right on. Well, Liz, we appreciate you taking our time with us here on Punch to the Face. Uh, we'll see you live in Kansas City. It's my hometown, so I will be- definitely be there in the building uh, to witness Invicta FC 14 live on UFC Fight Pass September 12th. Best of luck in uh, training here for the bout, and we'll see you in Kansas City. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you.